<laughs> Why? Why do bad things happen to good comics? Uh, I just made a video about this. And welcome back to Comic Vantage. First off, before we start this mailbag day video, I have to give a huge thank you to the Lone Wolf of Comic Book Hunts. Dude, you're awesome for giving me a shout out on your channel. Thumbs up, dude. Thank you so very much. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's get started. First off, I want to talk about the reason I was crying. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I get some lovely mail in the mailbox yesterday. Oh boy, did I get a lovely mail in the mailbox. That's how it came packed. Right there. This flimsy cardboard that I complain about in a manila envelope. I mean, granted, there's a couple layers here, but wow. Whew. Yeah, needless to say, I wasn't very happy. Um, not only that, but the comics were... There was actually five of them split among two bags and two boards. So there was three in one and two in the other. So the seller used a bag that was way too large. So my comic books shifted inside. Oh, and they hit the corners. Oh, it's a nice quarter crunch right there. And they shifted and they rubbed and they rubbed. And they left this nice, actually, let me pull this out of here so you can see this. Oh, this one's the best one. Look at that. The comic books, first off, use cheap backboards because, God, the ink rubbed right off the back of the comics. And you can see, oh, this lovely corner crunch from bouncing around. And this lovely, the big bend is actually for me because I was angry and I bent them and threw them in the trash because I rebagged and boarded them properly to return them to the seller. Hey, look at this. Did I really have to put in my video, use proper size bags and boards? Ah, now everybody out there is probably wondering why I'm so mad. All four covers of the Mark Brooks Phoenix Resurrection. Three of them being virgin covers. If I'm not mistaken, this one here, the green, has a print run of 3,000, and these two have print runs of 1,000 apiece. And then, of course, this was the Starren variant. Yeah. <laughs> the, the red, which is probably one of the rarest ones, actually has it the worst. So let me, let me show you what happened here. Look at this. See that wear? I don't know if it shows up really well on camera, but it's worn. The color completely worn right off. Not to mention this awesome little corner crunch, and there's another one right here. These things were listed as near mint plus, unread condition. And then the seller shipping happened. Not happy. So those are getting returned. All right. And now you know why I was crying. So, let's get started with our mailbag. Here's my awesome stack for the day. And actually, before I get to the awesome stack, I opened up a book previously, this one, from uh, my What Not To Do When Shipping Comic Books video. And uh, this one here, I opened because it was a crappy pack job, but I want to talk about it right now because the reason I picked this up, it's Uncanny X-Men 221. I picked this up specifically for Chris Claremont to sign and Mark Silvestri. I'll be meeting both of them. And this is a key issue. It is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Woo, Mr. Sinister. Awesome. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's start our mailbag. First up, a proper mailer. For mailing your comic books. So let's cut this bad boy open. See what we got in here. All 
right. Hey! Gemini Mailer! So what is this? Oh! Hot damn! Save the mailer! Save the world! This! Wolverine number one! Limited series number one. Absolutely gorgeous! Oh, see, look, and this seller actually packed it in a top loader with a little bit of tape, so that's not... Oh, this thing was not going to get hurt during shipping. Oh, I love this seller. I wish I knew who they were, because I bought this so long ago. Uh, you actually might have seen this before in one of my other unboxing videos, because I bought two. Um, I just wanted to see which one was the best quality, and I'll probably end up reselling one. Who knows? I might end up getting both of them signed by Claremont and Frank Miller, and then selling off one after it's CGC'd. We will have to wait and see. Awesome book! Next up... Please do not bend. And there's no way that thing is getting bent. This person sent a priority mail, which had to be the purpose since I waited two months to open it. Uh, although it's still awesome. Priority mail gets you free $50 insurance. All right. What are you? Handy dandy sensor time. Oh, another top loader in here. I wonder what this is. Hey, everybody, it's top loader time. I love top loaders. I actually don't mind sending some of these myself with expensive comics, just because they're fairly inexpensive. You can just find them for a buck or a buck fifty a piece. And as you can see, I actually end up getting some in the mail too. So, you know, spread the love. The top loader love. All right. And you are unveiling, please. Ah, oh, look at that. This is a G.I. Joe something or another art germ baroness cover. Ah, oh, virgin cover, that thing is beautiful. Oh my God. Anybody who grew up in the 80s absolutely adores the Baroness. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Oh, man, that thing's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So happy with this book. <laughs> All right, awesome. Next up, manila envelope, but it's got serious packing. So this book is not going to get hurt in here. if I ever saw one. Daredevil 181. This is the Death of Electra book. Oh, God. Did you see this? Look at that. Man. I mean, I'm just so glad this thing didn't get bounced around. They really protected it, but wow. This thing needs a new bag and board because this is way too big for it. Stop doing that. Unless you put like six blackboards in it. Still, it's a beautiful book, and it's in great shape. I was actually planning on getting Frank Miller to sign this one. I mean, that's a must-have right there. All right, what is up next? You can always tell when the books come from an actual comic book store and not a private seller, because they're always wrapped in Diamond Direct boxes. <laughs> It's actually pretty easy to tell. Oh, what are you? Man, that's a big fat book in there. Oh, look at that, actually. Oh, the bag split. That is a first. Man. Oh, I need to get a bag and board for this right away. Wow. That's a bummer. It's the dynamic forces bag too. It's actually got a dynamic forces seal on it. But this is a DK3 Master Race Book 1 J. Lee variant cover. Dynamic forces edition. Yeah, here's the certificate of authenticity for it. Although I will be getting this signed by J. Lee and probably Kubert, Azarello, and Jansen. So CGC will not put this in with it, so it doesn't matter anyway. Wow, that's beautiful. I love J. Lee. I'm 
sure everybody out there is annoyed with me saying that over and over again, but seriously, I do. He's an awesome artist. And I guess I'll try to salvage the bag. Try to keep that sticker somehow. That's a cool sticker. Yeah, maybe not happening. Who knows? Actually, don't have any bags and boards handy. Bad on me. All right, what are you? You sent this first class. Yeah, that's another thing I should have mentioned in that video on how to spend comic books is uh, always send them first class. I don't know, I've talked about it before as well. Remedial mail can be opened, and if the post office sees it's a comic book, they'll return it. Because these are not supposed to be media mail. Ooh, this is an awesome cover. Oh man, that reminds me of the Misfits. Totally why I bought it. We can never go home. Bam. Comic edition. Second in Charles. Woo! Uh, first issue. I actually bought this for uh, Matt Rosenberg to sign, but I don't believe I'll be getting him to sign this anymore. It, uh... I have way too many things. <laughs> so I'll have to wait and see once I get there if I have enough autographs to get him to do it. Although this isn't in the best shape. And this bag is kind of... It's actually a poly bag that it came in. Oh, I see some color breaks in there. Yeah, I probably won't get him to sign that. Still, it's an awesome, awesome cover. I'm a huge Misfits fan. Love them to death, so that was beautiful. All right, next up, a whole bunch of Do Not Bends. And another one, Diamond 35th Anniversary. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. What are you? Oh, you're actually popping out all over the place. Oh, look at that. Batman Superman. Number 21, Jock Cover, and I actually bought this for Jock to sign. I will actually be meeting him. God, what? Seriously? Buy some modern bags and boards, you dolts. Why? Oh, look, see, Color Rub. Do you see that? Because the bag is too big for the comic, and it's going to slide around in there. And also, they bought cheap bags, too, or cheap boards. Oh. Seriously, I'm just going to have to, like, go around the world and teach everybody how to ship comic books. I'll make that a part-time job. I'll be like Tony Robbins, motivational speaker for wrapping comics. <laughs> All right. That's a whole lot of tape. Man, that thing was thick. Nice big mailer. Are you Gemini? Why, yes, you are. Pardon me, is that a Gemini mailer you're using? Oh, yes. Yes, it is a Gemini mailer I'm using. All right, and you are? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Campbell exclusive. This is actually only available through uh, Scott Campbell's website. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you know, a lot of these artists nowadays, like Rob Liefeld in particular, will specifically order so many books so he can get his own exclusive variant cover and sell it for a huge markup. Campbell does it for, I don't know how many books every single month. I've actually seen pros and cons to this on both sides where people are like, hey, it's awesome because we have a variety of cool covers that we normally couldn't get. On the downside is, the argument is that it takes money away from the retailers who desperately need it because instead of somebody buying this from the retailer, like your local comic book shop, they go to Campbell's website and pay an extravagant amount of money to get the special variant cover. So, you know, I still like it though. I think it's pretty cool. So I was happy for that. I actually want to get uh, Jerry Conway to sign this. As you can see, I'm kind of sorting it right now because I know what's in this one and I want to save it. <laughs> uh, I came from the UK and I only had one thing coming from the UK. All right. What have we got here? Lots of cardboard. I will never, ever, ever complain about cardboard. Ever. Can never have too much cardboard. Wow, this is nice double wall cardboard. Wow. 
All right, and we have a couple different books in here, it looks like. And they used shipping tape to tape them down, so they will never come off the bag, and I will have to replace it. All right, what are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> They're taped together a second time. Ah, all right. Come on. Oh, I gotta be so careful because I'm afraid I'm cutting into the bags here. Whoa, that was precarious. And these are Dark Knight 3 Master Race variant. Oh, David Finch variants. Regular and black and white sketch. Again, I bought these for David Finch to sign. Um, I'm having way too many books for Azarello, Kubert, and Jansen, so I really have to weed it down, but David Finch will definitely be signing both of these. So, awesome. Next up, first class mailer. Hey, this is from Mile High Comics. How do I know it's from Mile High? Because they always pack it in between these sorting cards. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What are you? And actually, these are awesome. I actually reuse these in my own boxes to keep everything separated. All right, stay. Good dog. Alrighty. And we have a Psyblade She, number one crossover. I bought this specifically for uh, Mark Silvestri to sign. I was a huge fan of Psyblade and She back in the 90s, so I figured this is kind of cool to get. And I was right. My like comics. Bam. You know, I'm still sitting on this one. You know, I'm going to do the boxes first and come back to that one because this one here. This is kind of like, this is sort of a holy grail issue. But it's not old, so don't get your hopes up there. All right, what do we got here? We got some tape. Oh, beautiful. We have a lot of bubble wrap and air pillows and I do not know. Oh, the tape ruined the air pillows. Oh. <laughs> okay, everybody saw my CGC unboxing video uh, where I showed off all my cool comics that I got from CGC this last time around, and everybody remembers that beautiful Evil Ernie number zero. Well, you know, I have a chance to meet Greg Capullo again, so I just I couldn't pass it up. And I bought another one for him to sign. Oh, and this one is in even nicer shape. Oh, sweet Jesus. If I do not get a 9.8 on this, I think I will eat it. Oh, boy, it's beautiful. Man, it is shiny. We have a few little color flecks right here, but I, you know, it's going to be a 9.6 at the minimum, and I'm really thinking 9.8. Oh, I'm going to be so excited to unbox this when I get it back from CGC after Capullo signs it. Whew! If it's a 9-8, there's only one other one in the CGC census. Man. Okay. Nice. Next up. Another box. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, speaking of CGC, the CGC book. Oh, I know what you are. You are an Uncanny X-Men 198 9.6. I love Barry Windsor Smith artwork, so this was a no-brainer for me to pick up specifically for his artwork and the price 
was insane. I, I mean, really, I just couldn't pass it up for the price that I got this thing for. It was so incredibly cheap. It was scary. Oh, maybe I can crack it out and get Claremont to sign it and get a new tag. The way I'm looking at it, I don't think pressing is going to help it, so I'll save some money there. Yeah, wow. I just might do that at the end of the month. Have CGC crack it open. Claremont to sign it. Get another 9.6 back with a Claremont signature. Okay, that's actually kind of a plan. Awesome. Oh, let's put this back in here. And last, but certainly not least, like I said, I actually know what this is. Um, I ordered it specifically out of the UK. Like I've said in my previous videos, do not be afraid to look for comics out of the country, because wow, I got a killer deal on this. I mean, it was one of the sweetest deals I think I've ever gotten in comic books. Okay, and this comes from... Silver Acre Comics. So there's all their information. They're located in Chester in the United Kingdom. All right, good stuff. Hey, Silver Acre Comics and Collectibles. Thank you for your recent order. We enjoy doing business with you. Awesome. And this company sent this really fast. And as you can see, it was well packed. So if you find them on eBay, don't be afraid to buy a book from them, because, yeah, this was awesome service. Okay, this is X-Men Second Series, issue number 11, second printing. <laughs> you heard me correct. I said second printing. And you're thinking to yourself, what the heck, a second printing, and you're raving over this thing? This is not just any second printing. This is called a Pressman edition. Now, back in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a board game company called Pressman. I don't even know if they're still around or not. But Pressman put out X-Men board games, at least two or three different ones. And in that board game was a little mail-away offer to get a comic book. There are three different X-Men and Uncanny X-Men comics that are second printings, Pressman editions. And because of that, these have such an incredibly low print run, it makes them unbelievably rare. And henceforth, expensive. Now, I'm not talking like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but you're looking to spend over a bill for this if you would actually end up buying it somewhere. And I pick this up out of the UK dirt cheap. And this is actually going to be going to my signing with me in December of this year, December 2018, and I will get Jim Lee and Scott Williams both to sign it. After that time, it'll be heading off to CGC for greeting. I really look forward to that. So hopefully that's a little bit of information there for you you didn't know. Okay, um, actually, wow, that's it. That's my stuff. So we got X-Men 11 Pressman Edition. Woo! Cool silver in the background, how you can tell. We have the Uncanny 198, CGC 9.6. Our Evil Learning Zero, that's just so pretty. Sideblade sheet number one, getting ready for Mark Silvestri. Couple DK3 Master Races, all set up for David Finch. Amazing Spider-Man, renew your bows. And this is the Campbell cover. Oh, along with Jerry Conway, the comic book store that I go to, local store, it's actually called Torpedo Comics. They uh, are going to try to get Campbell every year. He actually came out last year. I did an awesome signing. I got a bunch of books signed by him. So I'd love to get him to sign that as well. And then I got my Batman Superman number 21 jock cover. We can help. We can never go home, number one. It's a cool Misfits throwback cover. Daredevil 181, Frank Miller. Oh, this G.I. Joe with the art germ, Virgin Bar Baroness cover. Wolverine number one, limited. All set up for Frank Miller and Claremont. Uncanny X-Men number 221, first appearance of Mr. Sinister. And last but not least, I can put this to the side because I don't want to ruin it, is the Dark Knight 3, book one, Master Race, J. Lee variant. Awesome. Anyway, those are my books. 
And this is my haul. I can't wait to get these books signed. I, actually, I think everything in here, minus the art germ cover, is for a signing. Yeah, wow, I can't wait to get these things signed in CGC. It's going to be a blast. It's insane. So, that's my stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that logo over there. Hit the bell up there. Give me a thumbs up. I put out two videos a week now. So all kinds of good stuff. Usually I do a mailbag or I'll do a comic book review and then something completely random. That's just fun because, you know, I can do whatever I want on this channel. It's my channel. And uh, again, Lone Wolf of the Comic Hunts. Comic Book Hunts, go check out his channel. He's a cool guy. And uh, thanks again, man. Uh, and to everyone else for your support. Thank you. I love the comments. I love the thumbs up. Mike, I've actually been checking my analytics and some of my videos have been beating records from previous weeks for likes and things like that and views. So it's amazing. It's so awesome. I love you guys. And like always, thank you for watching and take it easy.